Good evening, everyone. Welcome to ULTV Student Diaries. I'm Shafali Shirvastav, Marketing and Communication Manager at University of Living. As you're aware that in the series, we feature students who are studying abroad, and we're going to discuss their course, life at uni, and much more. Today, we have Karuna Donde, student at Aston University, who's currently studying MS in Information System and Business Analysis. Hi, Karuna. How are you? I'm good, Shafali. How are you? I'm great. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for inviting me here. It is a pleasure joining here. Thank you. For those who are unaware what MS, uh, MSc in Information Science Systems and Business Analysis is, that it falls under STEM core subjects and as we learn more about it directly from Corona itself. So Corona, before we start and dive into the conversation about the course, how is Birmingham? Uh, Birmingham is pretty great city. It is a good city to live in. It has um, good weather. Personally, I don't find it very gloomy. And um, furthermore, it has good transportation facilities. You have uh, buses for transport and trains and everything is very good overall. Great. And how the Aston University? Aston is an awesome university, I must say. It is, its campus is so beautiful. The uh, courses are good. The faculties, the uh, mentors are really good. You have um, a great library where you can study, a play area. And yeah, Aston is a very good university. Okay, so I believe you made the right choices when you selected Birmingham as the, your city's destination and Aston University as the future university, right? Yes, yes, definitely. How I, many months it has been uh, over there? Um, it's been seven months over seven here. Months. And the experience is so far great. You're not missing home? Yeah, I miss home. <laughs> but yeah, it's worth living here. So we, the cultural difference is there, but the people over there are very warm and welcoming, right? People are warm and welcoming and there are cultural differences, but yeah, you'll have to have some new experiences in your life. So it is good. Great. Good to hear that. And congratulations on your new in parting job opportunity that you recently got, right? Uh, yes, I'm going to interview, but I have not got it. Yeah, <laughs> okay, then all the best for that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Great. Now, moving forward, it's very difficult when you're planning your study abroad whole, you know, uh, dream destination and there are a lot of process involved funding is very important that plays a very important role so what are the funding options that you considered while you were applying uh there are many funding options uh but i considered uh taking an education loan from a nationalized bank in india and i feel that this is a very good option as you don't have to pay uh like hefty of interest uh, after your course is done and nearly uh, in India education loan interest rate is around 8% or 9% if you take it from a good nationalized bank in India. Uh, other options I considered was um, taking a loan from NBFC. Uh, NBFC is our, um, the, these are financial institute which provide, um, which provide loan without any collateral. Collateral means you don't have to keep anything as mortgage to them, but they charge you a lot of interest. Uh, personally, I took loan from a nationalized bank and these are some of the options that you can consider while uh, planning your finances to study abroad. True, true. And of course, apart from that, there is scholarship and others, financial aid yes, also available for the students. Correct, correct. Yeah, I now, got a scholarship from Aston also. So great. that was also a little... Uh, so now yeah. you mentioned this, give us the tips, give us a few tips how to get that scholarship or any scholarship. Um, uh, This scholarship uh, was because I applied very early. So they gave me Global Ambassador Scholarship, which is of 5,000 uh, pounds, nearly 5 lakh rupees. And uh, another scholarship they have is Global Excellence that you have to apply for it from their portal. It is around 8,000 pounds. So for that, they give you a form that you have to fill in why you are interested in the scholarship. Um, why, why do you think you are a good fit to get the scholarship? You have to write an essay. 
so while writing an essay you can share your experiences you can share uh, what motivates you to study at aston and then you can get that scholarship if you are lucky <laughs> yes. great i'm really sure but of course you mentioned it very uh, you know correct that you know applying early is important early birds always get get good deals so that's for the information for all the students who are listening to us now i want to understand what made you choose aston university and why you want to pursue your you know, masters in information and you know business analysis uh i come from a computer engineering background and uh, i'm not that tech savvy like other computer engineers are i am more lean towards management but i even don't want to leave the technology part of it so i want technology with management so that is the reason i chose information systems as my masters and while coming to uh, UK, the uk i considered several other universities as well such as greenwich university then university of portsmouth um then it was coventry university but choosing as aston and particularly birmingham um i had two things in my mind first is aston business school has a good rank and that excited me and another uh, second thing is that living in birmingham uh, cost you less than living in london so it is also cost effective and plus i as i told you i got a good scholarship here so uh, which uh, motivated me to come here as the course is also pretty good the modules are good so i considered it as a good package deal which i got and that's why i chose aston great you mentioned london is expensive of course we are aware of that now if i want to ask you and if you have something on your head like can you share the numbers what is the living cost at birmingham uh it's around uh, my rent rent is around 400 pounds and other living expenses would come till 50 pounds so average it is 450 pounds per month 450 than 500 yes. right yes so it depends if it depends on the cost of living of people yeah right right now i will come back to your accommodation cost also now moving forward in our conversation what kind of uh, you know career guidance or intervention does aston university provide you students over there what is the career support that they provide to you uh there is a career and placement uh, organization in aston where you can get guidance for your career they will help you make your cv they will help you make a cover letter for you they can proofread things for you they can uh, suggest you jobs we get as there is aston future portal uh in which we get constant updates on recent jobs what are the vacancies and everything and so that we can apply for it uh and furthermore uh you can book an appointment with the expert and you can if you are having some concerns then you can speak with them and they can guide you in it so this career facility is very good as compared to india in india we don't have we have career and placement officers but we don't get um like regular updates for the vacancies so that is the difference great so they have a portal where all the vacancies are available you can get the real time scenario and you have the guidance counselor also along over there right yes and you get continuously updates on your email that these are the vacancies so that you can just check and you can apply for jobs great great now the most fun part of joining any university is actually the social gatherings that they organize the cultural sports program and the you know whatever these kind of clubs are there you know so are you part of such club uh yeah i was part of tedx aston university but due to some personal reasons i uh, i left it but uh, then to uh, i'm currently a part of it but not uh, in real time but i work there as a volunteer not you not actually uh, participating in that club what kind of clubs are there at the university uh there are different uh, types of clubs there is tamil society then they, here uh, there is i think um, kerala society uh, there are different cultural societies then uh, there is aston student union um different types of football clubs um then dance clubs different types of clubs and cultural programs such as uh, celebrating holi 
uh, celebrating uh, i think lori in uh, in the uh, university itself uh, then we have uh, bhangra society there's some different different kinds of cultural societies in uh, aston and it's, it's pretty now, amazing now again, why don't you miss a lot of home part over there because you <laughs> found yes. your own india over there good to hear now i want to understand how does aston university has helped you in your personal growth and development uh you are in uh, aston or any other university in the uk you have uh, you have to do your assignments on your own so uh, doing research or uh, writing your own essay uh, for uh, like i wrote essay i think in my 10th standard <laughs> in in india after that uh, i don't think i have written an essay on anything but here you have to search for things you have to read books you have to read journals you have to take uh, things from there which has uh, led me to be consistent in what i'm doing so consistency is the thing that i have learned here then in in my personality development i have developed a lot of confidence while uh, talking to uh, any any one of my peers or any faculty or anyone from another cultural background so i have uh, i have been like wide open to the um like, um i uh, cultural uh, different cultural people i can say <laughs> yeah yes yes yeah. then um another thing is that uh, i have i have gained presentation skills while studying at aston because in my course there are most of the things are practical you'll have to make uh, presentations you'll have to present a powerpoint presentation you'll have to make strategies so uh, these are the things that helped me uh, develop my skills while studying at aston great now the, we talked about aston and of course we'll definitely talk more about aston in future like in the conversation i want to understand it's very overwhelming when you plan that you want to go study abroad it's very dreamy every student wants to do that especially in india we talk about out of 190 students would like to go and study abroad but not 90 can achieve it but even if uh, 40 are achieving it most of them come back due to some xyz reasons there are multiple challenges that you face not just here while you have while you pursuing your core your dream when you're over there also so what are these challenges and if you face any can you share your experience uh yeah why um challenges in india or challenges uh, in the uk both parts like in india of course we have already discussed the funding option if i talk about for example uk or even when you travel link from india to uk or any other part of the mm -hmm. world there are multiple things your home sick your like you share your story yeah yes right uh first thing is that while in india uh, it is very overwhelming to uh, search everything research on your own and um planning everything so uh you have different uh, counselors in india to guide you to a perfect university like university living you can guide students they guide students they help them then another challenge was my uh, loan sanction uh, as i uh, had to take an education loan so it has a lot of procedures to do and like con constantly you'll have to visit the bank you'll have to uh, request the manager to just uh, quickly sanction your loan so that you can apply for your visa quickly then another challenges that i faced was um i was not uh, i i didn't know anyone while I, i was coming here so when i booked accommodation with university living i got good roommates so that is a good thing and uh, after uh, after that when i was here um the weather was very cold because i was i was a jan in tech student the weather was like minus 2 minus 3 and i came from uh, 40 degree celsius to minus 2 so it was very cold so in the start you might feel a little sick uh, like a little sick but if you have good friends and good company you'll be okay <laughs> then <laughs> help you there when you that you found a room it's good really happy to help you over there very yeah, the company does make a difference for sure yes it surely does and after that 
uh, adapting to a new city and new people was a little difficult understanding the roads understanding the transport took a little time but eventually it was uh, it was okay uh, then uh, while uh, doing the transactions here in the uk you just have to like uh, there is less of cash transactions everything is mostly online so you have to have your card and you just have to tap it so then again uh, we have to open a bank account then the card until that everything was done with cash um recognizing the uh, coins was difficult for me uh, they have in uk they have uh, 20 pens 50 pens uh, one pen so it was really difficult to like see which is this coin <laughs> and then giving <laughs> these are the small small things which you will struggle i I'm, yeah. I'm, i feel very lucky that i didn't feel um, i didn't had a like a huge uh, problem or huge obstacle while here or while in the india uh, in while i was in india so i feel lucky that these are the just small small struggles that i have had while here in the uk <laughs> it does make sense and of course it happens to every anyone even if yeah. there is a risk and starting this you will convert every money into indian rupees and yeah. then you're paying and then you realize oh my god <laughs> that oh my god this is for 100 rupees <laughs> i used to buy it in 10 rupees <laughs> <laughs> true now you mentioned accommodation and thank you so much for giving us the good word uh, you mentioned that you pay 400 uh, rupees for your accommodation if i'm not mistaken uh, 400 what? pounds for yeah for, sorry i'm so sorry yeah 400 pounds for accommodation so what all is covered in accommodation and how do you you know describe your accommodation you must you're there already you know you've seen your friends somebody might be living into some other kind of uh, you know, living system. So how do you feel when you're in a PBSA and what is the differentiation that it creates for you? Um, while I'm uh, living here in uh, Beach Gardens at Almeida Student, um, here in 400 pounds, uh, everything is covered, like electricity bill is covered, gas bill, water bill. And as I'm on student visa, I don't have any council tax, so I don't have to pay tax. Um, and uh, furthermore, um, uh, food and everything will have to buy groceries, but other expenses like bills are included. Internet is also included in this 400 pounds. And uh, my uh, other friends like Rohini, you said, uh, they live in Canal side, uh, which is a little uh, near to the university. Um, their accommodation also covers the same things, but their rent is a little higher. I pay 99 per week. Uh, they are paying uh, almost 130 pounds per week. Uh, and my accommodation is type of, uh, it's like, as the name says, beach gardens. So it is green. It is like villas. We have different, different blocks and we have three floors, uh, villas. And um, there are two, uh, two, clusters uh, in one on one floor so one cluster has five bedrooms and one shared kitchen with two uh, washrooms and it is shared uh, washrooms are shared among five people uh, while in canal side uh, where rohini stays uh, they have an end suite where they have their personal uh, washroom and uh, the kitchen is shared yeah. and um, now the difference in the price comes into bit Yes, difference yeah. of the price. Um, and Beach Gardens is little far from the university. It is like uh, 15 minutes by bus. No, mm -hmm. not 15, just 10 minutes. It is 10, 10 minutes by, by bus. bus. And I believe uh, 20 minutes by walk? Uh, 30 minutes by walk. 30 minutes by walk. Okay. Okay. And how easy is it to take bus when you are over there being a student? Is it easy or is it difficult like in India? <laughs> No, no, it is very easy. The buses are more frequent over here. Uh, the bus which I take to the university has frequency of 10 minutes. Like in every 10 or 15 minutes, you will have a bus. So, yeah. which is... So, the public so, transport is very active over there, especially near the, your place also. In the, in yes, the yes. It is very active. Yeah. Great, great. Now, I, mean, I didn't realize we were almost near our closing time. There's one important question that I want to ask. Is it... What are the key differentiator? Why would anyone select Aston University over any other university? Um, 
there are many uh, key differentiators uh, because first is Aston is in Birmingham city center, uh, which makes it uh, easily accessible to uh, like uh, you can, if you're from any part of Birmingham, you can easily come to Aston University. Aston Business School uh, has a very good rank and is very famous. Third, Aston feels like home. You will uh, not feel uh, homesick while you are in Aston. I, I'll, I'll guarantee that. <laughs> uh, third, uh, fourth one uh, is that uh, Aston has a good um, uh, like module structure. Each module leaders are uh, very helpful. If you are having any issues, any personal issues or any academic related issues, you can directly talk to them. You can uh, book an appointment. Aston has a facility so that uh, where you can book directly appointment with your module leader or any faculty which you would like to, um, with whom you would like to talk. Uh, and then there is a men mental and wellness um, center where if you are feeling lonely or you are depressed a little or you want a little bit of counseling, you can reach out to them. So these are the key differentiators which make Aston a good university. And also Aston itself is a very good name and brand. And it's it's Great. real good. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Karuna, for joining us today. Uh, we've already actually done with our question, but is there any two cents that you want to share to the students who are, travel, who are planning to come in September in Jake or come in Jan in Jake? Any two cents for the students? Uh, anyone who are, uh, who are going to come here in September or Jan, um, just take everything lightly, not that lightly, but just um, go with the flow. Don't rush for things and everything will get into place eventually. You will feel a little overwhelming or a little excited. You will come with mixed emotions, but your journey is going to be worth it. So you're going to enjoy every bit of it. Great. Well said. Your all the best to everyone. Well said. Your here. journey is going to be worth it. So thank you so much, Karuna, again for joining us. And on this note, we'll be closing our session. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you found it useful. Looking forward to seeing you guys next Friday, 5 p.m. Stay tuned to our social media channels for more information. Thank you. Thank you, Karuna. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me here.